Hello everyone, welcome to Decked. My name is Tyler, and this week we're going to be playing some Sentinels of the Multiverse of the video game. This is their weekly part of their weekly one-shot series. The weekly one-shots are a, a series of pre-constructed challenges offered by the developer, Handle Offer Games, where they uh, provide the villain, they provide the hero lineup, and uh, the environment in which uh, the Titanic struggle takes place. The, and this issue, called Mars Attacks, we have an iteration of Omnitron uh, with a team lineup of Haka, uh, Absolute Zero, Bunker, what looks like Redeemer Fanatic, a variant ID, and uh, the Wraith. This is the advanced edition, as you can see down in the, the bottom of the comic book cover, which means uh, Omnitron is going to be a little tougher to fight. Uh, uh, so we're going to see what happens from here. Let's get into the game. So the uh, so we're playing. Let's take a look at Omnitron. We're playing against the core set Omnitron, not his cosmic variant, which means uh, over the course of the game he's going to be flipping back and forth between being a self-aware robotics factory and the rampaging robot. On the robotics factory side, uh, he will flip, and then at the end of the villain turn he will shuffle the, his trash and put drones a drone or component into play. And then when he's destroyed, uh, we have to continue destroying all of his um, devices because Omnitron is the kind of thing that can persist in any of its uh, gadgets. So, And then on the advanced, he's also increasing the damage dealt by devices by one. So anything with Omnitrons that's a device is going to do a little extra damage while he's on this side. And on the rampaging, rampaging robot side, uh, we, again, we have the rule that will cause him to flip because he keeps swapping between being a robot and a, and a factory. And then at the end of the villain turn, he's going to play an extra card from his villain deck, which is taking a little control away from the heroes in that whatever we might do to mitigate what's on top of his deck, he's still going to be unpredictable in that way. And then, he, again, he has the same rule about uh, having to clean out all his devices before we can be on the drawn. And on this side, he's reducing damage dealt to device, two devices by one, so it's a little harder to get rid of them. So that's Omnitron. For the team, we have Haka, does damage. He's got an elbow smash, good for some straight up damage. Uh, he has Enduring Intercession, which will redirect uh, damage from environment cards to Haka when Delta Hero targets. Haka of Shielding, which will reduce the next damage instance he takes. Taiha, which will do two targets, three damage each. That's a great starting power for him. And that's his hand. And then next we have Absolute Zero with two Cryo Chambers. Not something you really want to start the game with. Uh, focused Apertures increases his cold damage. And then Modular Realignment will retrieve equipment from his trash and put it into player hand and then do himself some damage. So that's a not a super interesting turn to start with Absolute Zero because all he his base power, as you can see here, Thermodynamics, it just hurts himself. He really wants to be redirecting that damage. And then we have Bunker. Bunker's base power lets him draw a card. And he has two heavy platings and two maintenance units. So he'll be turtling <laughs> starting out this game. And then here we have uh, Redeemer Fanatic. She's a variant idea Fanatic where uh, she has the power of Redeem. Fanatic regains one HP, draw one card. So that's pretty interesting. And then her opening hand is Absolution. Fantastic to have some damage like that. Uh, Divine Sacrifice, where she can d deal three targets, one irreducible damage, and then redirect damage dealt by those targets to Fnatic. So she's distracting some uh, some enemy targets from her colleagues. And Bolden, which will allow someone to grant someone an extra power use at the cost of Fnatic doing the damage. Sanctimonious Strike, Sanctifying Strike, deal one target, one melee damage, draw a card, regain an HP. It's sort of a all-around utility card. And then finally, the Wraith, uh, good old Wraith. We have Combat Stance, which will uh, do damage to something that does her damage the first time each turn. We have Smoke Bombs, which will redirect damage to from the highest, though from the lowest HP to the highest HP among the hero targets. We have Suit Yourself to regain three HP, and then Throat Jab will stop something dealing damage. What if uh, the Wraith manages to deal it damage? Okay. And that's our starting hand. Let's see what Omnitron's gonna do. 
He becomes the rampaging robot. He plays out an assault drone. He's rampaging, and then he plays sedative flechettes for six projectile damage. Holy cow. And he destroys all the ongoings. So that's about 50-50 good at this point in the game, because we have no ongoings. Let's just get this out of the way. Six is high. Six is, seems really high, but that's what you get when the, the the damage value is based on the number of players, or the number of heroes. And either, I'm just the one player with five heroes here. So, we could elbow smash, or we could tie ha. Elbow smash would net five damage. Tie ha would do two things, three each. I think, given my options, I'm going to just get tie ha out immediately. I do t Sentinels is a game where it's do lots of damage is hard to um, uh, steer away from as a strategy, and given that Omnitron's reducing damage about half the time, Taiha was a really handy first turn play. Whereas on the other hand, Absolute Zero here has not a lot that uh, uh, I want to play right now. I want to play Cryo Chamber just to have played something. And I'll skip the power, because it's not going to help anyone. More apertures. Okay, interesting. Um, hmm, heavy blading, I think, for bunker. And then he'll draw a card. He'll draw another card, decommissioned hardware. Now we have Fnatic. See, Fnatic does a lot of plinky 1 1 damage, so she will have difficulty getting rid of uh, anything while Omnitron is on this damage reduction side. In the meantime, though, we could embolden someone, or we could go Absolution. I kind of like Absolution. She immediately gets a hit point back, and then we can do some damage. And it's variable damage. We can change what type it is. So let's just get this drone out of the way. Although, it may come back immediately. So thank you, I'm gonna flip. At any rate, um, I feel like this is a game where we're going to benefit from a little bit of a little more preventive maintenance. So let's try that. Smoke bombs will help move damage around a little bit and even things out so it's not just targeting the lowest. And now we have a damage increase from Villainous Weaponry. Who knew Mars was teaming with Villainous Weaponry? So he plays out the Assault Drone on the factory side, and he brings back the previous Assault Drone. Can. Ugh. Well, Haka has more healing than Fnatic, so we'll do this. Although Fnatic likes to have low hit points because of her. Uh, oh, well, we wind up hitting both. Fnatic likes to have low hit points because she has a couple cards that key off what is the difference from her starting value and her current value. Let's. Hmm. Oh, I feel like Elbow Smash is the play, because that would do three. So we could get rid of a drone completely, or we could start hammering on Villainous Weaponry, which is probably a good thing in the long run. So I'm going to Elbow Smash the Weaponry. And then we'll tie Ha. Oh good, he's not reducing on the side. Gotta remember that. Should be concentrating my fire more though. Spreading it around is problematic. Uh, poor Absolute Zero is not got a lot going on so far. We're just gonna play some apertures. It's probably he's a what you call a setup intensive kind of character. All right, uh, so Bunker now we can st he can start doing some damage. He can do three, one target, three projectile damage. Or I could play Maintenance Unit, which would get him HP. He could start tanking. Um, I think, though. Let's see. Let's just see how much other damage we could be doing. One. She's going to be... She could do three tar targets. One. Uh, embolden. Who grants powers? Hmm. Think. I 
think. Go for the damage. It's really hard to go for damage. Not to not. It's really hard to not go for damage. And then Fnatic. To use a sanctifying strike to get rid of one of these drones. And then we use absolution. I would like to get rid of villainous weaponry. Uh, we could have grappled grappled it away, but we didn't. So here we are. Um, so. With Omnitron, he's going to flip, and then he's just playing more cards. He's not inherently doing any damage. Okay, so that's something to keep in mind. What caused the damage was sedative flechettes. All right. Uh, we could combat stance. That'd be fun. Suit yourself. I think that would make her 23. She'd be tied for most. Go combat stance. And then she'll double down on stealth. Ooh, love an impromptu invention. I think I know what I'm gonna get. Okay. So the assault drone hits absolute zero. And then the automaton drone is going to hit somebody for five. We'll make it bunker because he's reducing and at least negating villainous weaponry. Wow, we have a new villainous weapon. I think I'm going to save grappling hook for that. All right, so punish the weak is always promising with Haka because that'll enhance damage against the lowest target. A non-hero target, so they can environment and villains. So we'll go Taiha to this guy. And then these two are tied for lowest. So we'll go... Why, yes, I do believe the drone is lowest. We'll say villainous weapon ring for the grappling hook, and now he can rampage at some point. That's cool. All right, Absolute Zero has something that will allow him to do some damage. Will it? Let's and see. I'm not super familiar with all the ins and outs of Absolute Zero, so let's see what happens. Now, just explain a little bit. Absolute Zero's power deals himself fire or cold damage. Based on the modules he has in play, that fire or cold can either become healing for himself or damage to someone else in addition to damaging himself. But on the other hand, he has Cryo Chamber in play, which will cause Increase cold damage dealt to him, dealt to Absolute Zero, but reduce the fire damage. So I'm kind of curious, if I do fire damage with thermodynamics, will the focused apertures allow him to get any damage through? Nope. He just doesn't do anything, therefore he does not. Good to know. Okay. And we're not going to rewind, because that would uh, prevent us from possibly getting a mint copy of this issue. Alright, so let's go ammo drop, because Bunker needs cards. That's a good rule of thumb. Bunker needs guards. We'll do three. And that'll drop the drone. Bunker will draw a card. And then he'll draw for the turn. Alright, Fnatic. You can smite the transgressor to do two and use an additional power. That'd be nice. Because her uh, base power weight, which we haven't used yet, lets her get an HP and draw a card. That's always cool. We can embolden someone. Uh, I don't know if we're quite ready for that yet, because it's not everybody has multiple powers I want them using. Bunker would, you know. And when does Embolden at the end of that hero's turn? Okay, so they'd get a use out of it. Eh, Hawkers always has extra powers that it'd be nice to use more of. Uh, in this case, however, let's see. Omnitron is reducing device damage. So that would, she could get some through to him. She could use Divine Focus. Oh, you have to pay to discard a card. All right, so we want more cards in our hand before we use Divine Focus. There aren't enough targets for Divine Sacrifice. I don't think we're ready for Ages of Resurrection yet, so we'll use Smite. We will Smite Omnitron. 
Now he's resistant to melee damage because of adaptive plating subroutine. And just a little check, we get two power uses. Okay. So that means we can use Absolution to change the damage type because Absolution can do any threes. We'll do Radiant because no one else does that. And we'll do it to Omnitron. And then Fanatic will regain an HP and draw a card, which is another Absolution. This will draw for the end of the turn. And now we will go Impromptu draw a card, and then choose an, in, an equipment card from the race deck to put into play. And I want to choose Infrared Eyepiece. Because um, as we saw at the beginning of the game, Omnitron has those uh, do a ton of damage, destroy people's stuff cards. I'm not a fan. I don't care for them. And uh, I'm going to make sure we try to mitigate that as much as possible. So I feel like we can play around the subroutine pretty well. We have a nice array of damage types with melee, Chiefly melee, cold, projectile, fire slash radiant slash melee, and then projectile slash melee with the ray. So we're going to get rid of this weaponry. That'll do let her draw a card. Now we're going to go eyepiece. See? Technological singularity. Destroy all equipment cards. And then they would do damage based on uh, equipment destroyed that way. So instead, I would rather deal with the drone, which is going to hit the highest HP for 5. On the other hand, depending on the side Omnitron is on, he may be playing out extra cards. So we're just mitigating the unknown without really controlling it 100%. Now the self-destruct sequence is in play, which is going to cause us we need to feed it cards or destroy it, or the game will end very, very quickly. Okay, so he has an array of drones out now. He played an extra card. They're doing six because it's based on their HP and then he's enhancing their damage. Hmm. What do we do we have anything yet that can destroy the environment cards? I don't think Bunker destroys the environment. The ra uh Fanatic could potentially, but not right now. And we just use the race grapple nook, and I don't see another one. Okay. We have a couple turns, though, so I'm going to let it go for now. But one more thing. I'm going to try to increasing damage, so we can just start... We can punch a little more willy-nilly. So no, we will not feed the self-destruct countdown. not seeing anything I especially want to play right now because Rampage will do five to every non-hero and then every hero will take two. I don't I'd like a few more targets before we did that. But this is the maximum damage he's going to do out of that. Uh, because uh, Omnitron is not reducing damage right now. See if shielding will give us some more interesting cards. Now, shielding always makes you, or er, the Haka cards always make you discard at least one to mitigate damage. And we can lose the other punish the weak. So that'll be two. That'll be two off the next time he gets hit. And then we'll do Taiha. Yes. Oh, yes, he is. Which means that anything else we hit is going to get a negative one because it's not the lowest HP, regrettably. Hmm. What is Absolute Zero going to do? Again, not a, I'm not yet a master of Absolute Zero, so I don't quite know what the patterns are. I think I might just nuke the Cryo Chamber to um, get it out of the way so we can be behave a little more normally. Just throw, drop down, cool and blast, and then this way he'll burst out of his cryo chamber and allow him and do some damage. I'll just drop that on Omnitron because it's five. 
cold. No, he's immune to cold. Now, fueled freeze is interesting. Let's double check on what fueled freeze does. Destroy ongoing, so that could destroy the subplating routine. But it would not get rid of uh, the self destruct sequence. Okay. New. No. We'll leave that for now. Drop a maintenance unit. We could go into recharge mode. Recharge mode gives extra draws. Don't think I'm ready for him to just be drawing cards. So we'll take out a drone. Gets the turret mode. Another ammo drop. So that'll be damage and a card. This is the one where you, she keeps... You discard cards to get her to deal damage. This does irreducible damage. Bolden grants a power use. Draw a card. Let's do that. I'll keep, I want to build her hand up more in order to get to Divine Focus. It'll build up Bunker's Hand, too. Ooh, Final Dive. That's nice. And then we'll start... Uh, give her a card and some HP. It's rare that you find a Sentinel's character that, would, that grants itself, or anybody, HP. There's the Redeemer Fanatic, there's Legacy, the America's Greatest Legacy, and then uh, Dr. Medico. Those are the three that are coming to me off the top of my head. Uh, no, I don't want to skip the rest of my turn. Uh, he's going to do that. I'll drop a Mega Cookie. There's not a lot of damage coming from uh, Fogner Mars base. But I'm not ready for an inventory barrage. Suit yourself would probably be... Would make her the, the highest. That'd be helpful, possibly. Um, let's do that instead. That way Smoke Bomb's... Will, would redirect to someone with a good cushion. And she uh, does she still have her... Uh, yeah, and she's still at minus four. So, so let's peek. Ooh, I'd rather deal with a repair drone than this Electro Pulse explosion because that does damage based on its HP, which is 15 to start. So it does, at the start of the villain turns, so you have a, the opportunity to hopefully get it out of the way before it goes off or mitigate how much damage it does but we'll just stick with the drone a utility belt that's great for the wraith she gets an extra power use out of it and a combat stance okay self-destruct sequence is ticking down we're going to start feeding it unfortunately or get rid of it and then so reduce all fire damage by three that's bad for uh absolute zero at the end of the environment turn one player may discard a card to destroy this card Start the environment turn, deal everybody toxic damage or exit the number of cards in the trash, which is currently three. Who's got a card they want to throw away? Not the Wraith. Not those two. I would throw away a cryo chamber very easily. I'm, I'm down with that. There we go. Solve the oxygen leak by sealing it with a cryo chamber. Omnitron plays a second card, which is a Disintegration Ray. That's one of the main ways he deals damage, is through these components. Let's take a look at it. Oh, excuse me for a sec. Disintegration Ray will deal six damage to the hero with the highest HP, but the thing about components in Omnitron is that if he's deal dealt seven or more damage in the round, all, a component, all the components in play are destroyed. So we need to punch him for seven points this turn, regardless of what else we do. So now, meanwhile, we have to start feeding the self-destruct sequence because we don't have any environment destruction, do we? Uh, nope. Grappling hook would be ideal. We don't have it. Uh, we don't have fanatics environment destruction yet. Nope. Bunker doesn't have environment destruction. And I don't recall specifically if Absolute Zero has environment destruction. I would have thought it was Fueled Freeze. Glacial Structure draws cards, so I think he just doesn't destroy the environment. Which, fine. 
we will start playing around self-destruct sequence and by that i mean beating it and the thing is uh either you give up uh two turns to play this, this to uh satisfy the self-destruct sequence or you're only ever just maintaining pace because it's just removing a card every turn and every turn you skip you add a card so either two people have to be giving up their turns or we're just um spinning our wheels essentially so do i want who do i want to give up a turn um i'm not in love with that with, with what absolute zero has to play right now so i think he will give up a turn just to maintain and bunker i'd rather bunker we're doing damage Wraith, I don't want to skip because she's got the infrared eyepiece. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm going to final dive. Yeah, I can final dive the drone onto Omnitron. That's going to be a good play. So that means that um, I don't necessarily have to let Haka or have Haka just choose Haka to be the one to give up his turn. That's not necessary. It's not necessary that Haka do anything this turn is the words I'm trying to say right now. Um, so he in absolute zero, I'm rather Bunker give up his turn quite frankly because Haka can hit for more right now than Bunker can. So no. And he will elbow smash Omnitron. Ooh, gotta watch out for that. Okay. At least he's doing some damage. I know he's immune to melee. That's bad. Okay. That wasn't a great play. Because now he's immune to all of Haka's damage. But I don't want to hit the repair drone. Because I'd rather final dive it. Yes, we will skip Absolute Zero's turn. That means he doesn't draw. So his predicted win gets no better. Now, Bunker. We have to keep hitting Omnitron or that disintegration ray is going to be problematic real fast. So no, I'm not going to skip. And then I could go into turret mode, which would increase his damage. I think, though, I would rather not have to worry about the environment for a turn. So we'll use adhesive foam grenade, and it cannot play a card. And then we'll go flat cannon on Omnitron. So we've done three damage to him. Getting to seven may be tricky. But on the other hand, the repair drone is going to do a lot for us. Did I just screw myself? Yeah, he's immune to projectile damage now. Great. And he's reducing damage. Okay. Oh, I'm still gonna get that drone out of there. Yeah, he's just immune to it. Okay. Very good. We'll do absolution. Radiant to do two. Now he's immune to Radiant, and where are we in the damage count? Excuse me for a sec. He's been at five, so Wraith needs to do three. I don't think Wraith can do three without doing an inventory barrage, which I'm not prepared to do. On the other hand, Omnitron deals the damage, so we could throat jab him. I'm okay with that. Means I'd give up playing the utility belt, but I'll do it. Okay, so it's not a pretty play, but we'll deal with it. Now he's immune to melee, which is a problem for Haka. Use the eyepiece. And see, another FU card where it destroys all the equipment. We will not be allowing that into play. Granted, he may play a, uh, an extra card, because I believe he's going to be on the rampaging side. Countdown goes down, so we're gonna have to. Good. He's a bone grenade, gave us some breathing space. We don't know what the next card would be, but we put it off. He can't deal damage. Fine with that. Okay, he's got two drones that are doing damage. Wraith takes no damage because she's been in the shadows, and the potential she takes six. And then she does two in reaction thanks to combat stance. That was fun. Now let's see here. Omnitron is increasing damage this round. He cannot deal damage. We need to get rid of that disintegration ray. He's immune to melee, I believe. 
cannot deal damage. He's currently immune to melee. So Haka can't hit Omnitron right now. He can hit the drones. Which... I think I'm just going to keep keeping pace by giving, letting Absolute Zero give, give up his turn. Because I'd rather Haka do stuff. So we'll go Dominion so you can get some extra cards, hopefully. And then do damage. And do hit the drone first, because it's the lowest, which will make the next drone higher, lowest. Take it out completely. And now we're feeding more cards to Bunker. Omnicannon, that's the card I want Bunker to have. Do, yes. Poor Absolute Zero, he's not gonna do anything this round, is he? Now, we could get Omnicannon out and start feeding it. That's very appealing. Because uh, most other cards in his, in his hand right now are either limited, so we can't get another one out as much as a little more armor. Or they're modes that aren't super necessary right now. Except for turret mode. Turret mode's always nice. Um, in this case, though, he's immune to melee. Omnitron is immune to melee, so projectile will be fine. Uh, nope. And we'll drop the Omni Cannon so we can start feeding it. And we will hit Omnitron for three. Glorious, unmodified three. Hmm. Wraith is not going to be doing any damage. I, well, she may, because we could impromptu into a weapon this turn and still get the utility belt out. That'd be fun. Uh, Holy Nova. I think we will not skip this turn. We're just going to keep maintaining with the self-destruct sequence and hope to someday get an environment destruction card. That would do one damage each. This is the turn to be playing that because he's not reducing right now. Even if it's only hitting one thing. It gives everybody some HP, which I'm for. And then we can go Absolution. Make it Radiant. No one else... Oh, bad choice. We just did the Radiant damage. Can't go back. No rewinds. So End of Days is one way to clear out an environment card. Uh, no, we're not going to skip. Let's see. How much damage is Onitron taken? Four. So he needs to take three. We can do three, I believe. Yes. With Razor Ordnance. Oh, good. We've got both in hand. So that way we could use Impromptu to drop. First draw a card, and then you can drop an equipment from the deck, which will be the Utility Belt. Put it in play. Go Razor Ordnance. To do the three damage we need to clean out the disintegration ray. Now he's immune to projectile. Okay, and then we'll use the eyepiece. Okay, we'll draw another card from it as well. Oh, okay. Now interpolation beam is uh, irritating because it does damage any time a player draws a hero card. It's a component, so it can go away fairly quickly, but it, it does affect feeding your hands. Um, let's see. Omnitron. He's going to flip. And he will ram... He's, he'll be rampaging. He's going to play an extra card. Interesting. Would I rather have the Interpolation Beam? He's also... He's also going to be reducing damage. I'd rather not do that. We'll just take the drone. And then we get another Inventory Barrage. Which is the race Coup de Croc. Coup de Gras card. Meteor Storm, everybody's immune to damage. Meteor Storm is another card, I believe, that requires a turn skip. Everyone's immune to damage. So, let's see. Our options right now... Yeah. So we have two things that require a turn skip. Meteor Storm, which would allow us to start dealing damage and hopefully get rid of that railgun. Although he's reducing damage, so we may just sit on it. 
and then the self-destruct sequence sequence which needs to be fed um, it would allow us to gain on the self-destruct sequence a little bit because uh, we need seven cards so if everybody skipped we'd be at six I um I need to get this out of the way um, so we're gonna go for it I'm just gonna keep skipping and feed the sequence and then next turn two people will skip and it'll go away because I'm tired of waiting for the grappling hook so one card will burn off the sequence Ooh, that was bad so we're destroying five environment cards or equipment cards I should say give up give up the dupes first and the, and the less essential stuff I can do without it we've got do I still have an extra tie huh yes I also have an extra absolution not less crazy about giving up like infrared eyepiece with the utility belt so we'll go one two three so the choices get tougher four and smoke bombs haven't actually done anything yet is anybody over there going to be targeting highest he's not hitting anyone necessarily goodbye smoke bombs you seemed like a good idea at the time. We'll see if we regret that. Oh, we're all immune to damage. Anybody can take it. I don't mind. Heroes are tripping over themselves to get in the way. Please, please hit me. Ugh, that was bad. There goes a lot of our good stuff. No damage at least, but we are still going to lose a lot of ongoings. Five. Which are not... None of them are super critical. I mean, Dominion Dominion didn't do anything. Ammo drops been really good for Bunker. Punish the Weak's been helpful for Haka. Combat Stance did something once. Coolant Blast did nothing ever. This is what I don't like about Autotron is these. Just take away all your stuff cards. Okay. Now, Omnitron... Is increasing damage so we can hit things hard if we get rid of the uh, meteor storm and two people have to give up their turns for the self-destruct sequence great might leave the meteor storm then for another uh, round Ooh, let's see here this card comes into play start of the environment at the start so if two players give up their turns they will uh get that out of the way and then we can leave Meteor Stur Storm to save us for another round and then and we can get rid of Pervasive Red Dust this turn of round, is a round as well and then you need to Wraith needs to take a turn for the eyepiece uh, Fnatic probably should take a turn just to get some cards in play and she get an HP for playing Absolution Bunker would prefer he took a turn so he could charge the Omni Cannon. Ye Absolute Zero can skip a turn. Haka could skip a turn. So, yes. Yes, poor, ignored Absolute Zero. Does nothing this round. No. Yes. So we'll throw in. Uh, have I lost the ammo drop? Yes, I did. So I'll throw in one ammo drop. Um, still have the flat cannon, so we'll throw in another flat cannon. He still has heavy plating. I'll drop in a mode. I'd rather do that before I did heavy plating, just in case. Uh, oh, and then he, he can charge and skip, but uh, we're not going to get rid of that this turn. And then he can play a card. I was not anticipating playing a card. I don't know why. Um... Let's go 
because he's not going to be doing any damage. Let's get some HP back. That's nice. And if he ever drops into turret mode, that would be a, another power to use. Fnatic is not skipping. Fnatic is going to play Absolution. Then she's going to gain an HP and draw a card. Hopefully getting... Oh, there's the environment destruction. New. New, but thanks for asking. Could drop more smoke bombs. She could draw more cards. We could get a new combat stance out. She's not the highest right now. So, Onitron seems to be mainly hitting the highest when he's not hitting everyone. So, let's... You know, it did more than uh, Smoke Bombs ever did. Yep. I'd rather have a drone than terraforming. So we could reduce damage. No one can deal damage right now, so we'll just let her melt into the shadows for a bit. Yes, we have aborted the self-destruct sequence. So that get, destroys all the cards we were piling up underneath it to represent the countdown. Now we're just not going to arbitrarily lose the game. Yes, we all agreed to discard a card. Do I still have Punish the Weak out? I do not. I don't, yeah, I'd rather give up the Mary. Absolute Zero will just give up anything because he's not... Oh, modular alignment would get your stuff back. Field Freeze. I would give up for either of those two things. Bunker has so many things to give up. You can get hardware back with the commissioned hardware. Or equipment, I should say. So we'll... Uh, does he have any fighting yet? Yes, he does. So we'll give up that. Fanatic. Don't want to give up the end of days. That's just the what if something happens card it's a complete reset basically we'll give up one of these barrages cool hey how did you get that mary back i have a tie on hand uh, what else is he looking to play next turn yeah i'd rather play a tie and get punish the weak back and then some apertures for absolute zero. Not that he's really done a whole lot. Put a maintenance unit out. Okay. Now what? I think we're hitting a bug. Okay. Oh, come on. Really? Doggone it. Well, this is frustrating. I don't know what to do right now. This is an interface bug, so far as I can tell. The game is just hung. There's no way to fast forward. I mean, I can rewind. That might reset it, but... Would give up the mint. Can I go to the main menu? Yep. I can continue the game. Maybe it'll have reset. Okay. Environment turns starting over. Let's see what happens. We'll see if we've lost the mint if we happen to win this. Yes choose for me. Is it 
Taiha in the trash. We've already been through a lot of these decisions, but now I can do them a little better, perhaps. Ooh, I guess the thing to be thinking about is drop equipment. Okay, I think what um, screwed up was that there may be no equipment in Fnatic's trash that she can play. No, there isn't, see? Because she's got a limited equipment card already in play. It's the only thing in her trash, so we might hit this bug again, and then uh, I don't know what we're going to do. But in the meantime, we'll just keep going and hope. So we'll do these in order and see if we can just skip over Fnatic and not hit the bug. So Taiha. Blue Zero. Bunker. Is there any kind of maintenance unit out? Yeah, it does. Is there a benefit to putting an auxiliary power unit? Yes. It would give him a power use. Let's put that into play. The Ray will put smoke bombs into play. That's fun. And then we're just going to skip Fnatic. Okay. I think that was helpful. Anybody. Anybody at all. I don't mind. Because we're still suffering a meteor storm. Oh boy. That's a lot of HP. Okay, we need to get rid of Meteor Storm. Bunker, or Haka's just gonna do this for us. Hopefully we can pump out some damage. Oh, it's reducing damage too, great. We're gonna Fuel Freeze. Just to do damage. I've never done this before. I mean, I, I've used it once or twice. I don't think I've got a whole lot of damage out of it. So this is kind of an optimal time to play. And he's going to deal each non-hero target X gold. Cool. And thanks to the apertures, it's going to wind up being a net of three. Strong play, Absolute Zero. Strong play. I knew I kept you around for a reason. After benching you to the... Uh, sequence for so long. Omnitron's immune to cold at this point. So Absolute Zero could do himself one and then um, he'll wind up doing out two which could take out one of the repair drones or villainous weaponry. And Bunker does not have the ammo drop in play unfortunately. And Haka doesn't have Dominion anymore. He will do himself fire. And then we can get rid of that. Am I gonna have any more blanket damage this turn? I could. Oh, Holy Nova, I believe. I also have some irreducible damage over here. Yep. If they all go away. We'll leave that for that. We'll just hit the automaton drone. My Fnatic can hit three things for one each, and none of them will be doing retributive. Also, none of them actually deal damage. Yes, I do want to charge that cannon. Uh, we'll do some decommissioned hardware. And a mode. Very rarely play the modes except for um, the, uh, the, uh, the turret mode. You know, the funnest one. So I can destroy auxiliary power source to uh, get an extra power this turn. Yes, I want that. Because I can drop a card first. I'll drop the ammo drop. Because he needs more cards. He always needs more cards. And you can do the flat cannon. Do a little bit of damage because we need to work on Omnitron and actually win the game at some point. And that makes Bunker highest HP fine because he's got the armor to make it mitigate that for a little bit so we basically said we're going to divine sacrifice this turn and i 
think I'd rather do it to damage dealers. Filling up Bunker's hand. Well, that was kind of fun. So Fnatic can heal up and draw a card, or she can do some damage. Omnitron is immune to... Oh, he's not immune to anything. There's no subplating routine. Is he reducing damage? Yeah, he is. Uh, let's see, what is the Wraith going to do? He's probably not going to ping the weaponry. And he'll be dealing damage next turn really inefficient. I'd rather drop the weaponry, though. Because who knows what he's going to play out. He'll certainly pull a drone back, I believe, because he'll be he'll be the factory. He's going to make a drone from the trash. Uh, we could barrage. We're not going to barrage. That'd be crazy. Is it time for the trust fund? So he's not going to play an extra card this turn. Oh, so we have... Oof, okay. We'll choose this one because it only does damage at the start of the turn. There are the throwing knives. Those will be helpful. Okay. Get him down to 80. More no damage. Okay. Fine. Akko's going to give up his turn again. Because he heals up. Perfect. Well, yes, he is going to give up his turn. Because Akko's a good guy. Oh, a new unit. Nice. And we'll do fire. Start dinging Omnitron. For two out of seven. Bunker, do his wish to charge. And the other ox unit, why not? We could. Is there anything I want to resurrect from the trash? Where does it go with the commissioned hardware? Put it into play. Sure. And then we'll just flat cannon. So that's five out of seven. Now, that destroys ongoing or environments. I think we're, we're all set for the ongoing we have. We could, she's got enough cards for divine focus, but to give up two, uh, it, to get the full maximum effect, she, her hand would be empty by the time her turn came around again. Instead we do Holy Nova, I like that. I'm not ready to... I need to embolden somebody soon, but not yet. cards I was hoping for in the early game. Here they are now. Alright, we're doing good. We're fine. Uh, throwing knives, throw jab. Just keep stocking up for the final barrage, I think. Put that pulse explosive somewhere safe. Out of harm's way. And then we'll drop the repair drone now. So Bunker will draw a card. Trust fund. I very rarely play Wraith's draw cards. Probably because she almost always has something more fun to play. So now we're going to destroy five equipment cards. We will not be destroying the Omni Cannon. 
not an option. That's kind of why I was playing out all these um, cards that are less useful right now. Smoke bombs and so forth. They're just not... Damage isn't being targeted in such a way that smoke bombs are relevant. So I'm okay giving them up. I'd like to not give up the uh, null point unit, because that would mean that uh, Absolute Zero will be slowed down from actually getting his shenanigans going. Round four. Give up a mega computer for four. And then we have to make a real choice. Let's see. Bunker. Okay, doesn't have any heavy, heavy blade in his hand. We can give up a tie, huh? Haka has another one to play. Okay, if we repair a drone, he's gonna get some HP and a railgun, which we can deal with. I believe. Yep, he's reducing damage. We're gonna have to hit him harder. We can do that. We'll go with Taiha. Been a lot of Taiha play this game. I enjoy it. Two out of five. Okay. Absolute zero. We could do a modular realignment. Is there equipment to retrieve? Yeah, the apertures. We have apertures, which is okay. I'd rather get apertures back than the cryo chamber. Actually, would cryo chamber be helpful right here? Cold damage dealt to absolute zero is increased by one. That would be helpful if you were going to charge himself up. Reduce the fire damage. So we'll just realign. Grab the apertures. And then he'll ding himself for one, which will become two, netting out to one after the damage reduction. Uh, let's... Um, hit this drone. And then he'll ding himself for two, which becomes two HP because he has his null unit out, which is pretty great. And then we'll do it again. Does himself one becomes two, which nets out to one because of the damage reduction on Omnitron. Bunker gets a card. Absolute Zero gets a card. Do I want to charge up? I think I do, but let's see what we have here. I could drop the modes. I could drop the Omni Cannon itself. Yes. And you don't always have to do three. I have had so many cards that Bunker will never get to play. It seemed... Uh, smart. And Gatling Gun requires me to feed it cards. And it waits to the start of my turn to deal damage. So I'm always a little on the fence about that. I think we will... Uh, oh, it's so hard to decide. Throw it in there. Could do external combustion to do a lot of damage. He would do himself one, two, minus one for one. Adhesive foam would slow down the environment. I don't know if we're ready for turret mode yet. Grenade launcher, not yet, nope. So, upgrade mode, extra plays. I'm not ready to be playing extra cards. I want more powers, which is what turret mode is for. Okay, let's drop into turret mode. He'd still be drawing some cards, but he would not be drawing many because turret mode stops him from his normal draw. It's just ammo drop that allows him to draw outside a wall in a mode that would otherwise prevent it. Not even initialize can do that. All right, let's do the foam grenade. No environment cards. And we'll do some damage to Omnitron because we have to get to seven. How much damage are we at from the drone? We are at four. We gotta hit him harder more often. Could destroy the environment card with consecrated crown. That'd be good. Yeah. And we'll get some stuff back. We're gonna do these one at a time because of the bug. The apparent bug. 
don't want to put that into play. I'm going to skip. Bunker would love to put the Ox Power unit back into play. Oh, no. Well, this is what happens when you're not paying attention. I hope this is not uh, disturbing the uh, candidacy for a mint. So we're going to play through that again. Okay. Right, because so we're going Consecrated Ground. Destroy the Red Dust. Haka gets the Mare. We're going to skip Absolute Zero because there's nothing he has to put into play. We want the Power Source. The Wraith. Love to put uh, something back into play if only to mitigate the next thing that takes away equipment. And then we're going to skip these two. And then we can't do damage because it's minus one. We can live with that. No damage, because nobody has any retributive effects that we wish to employ. And then we'll do two to Omnitron after reduction. We'll make it fire. Fnatic really pays off with a little more damage enhancement than we've had this game. So we're definitely going to hit him with the raise ordinance. Question is, what is our play? To draw more cards? I mean, she has a lot of cards, but she would draw more. Definitely gonna do the IPs. So her, her power uses are taken care of, essentially. Who's highest right now? Bunker is highest. I'm comfortable with him being highest. The Wraith would be second highest. Uh, let's just see what else is in the deck. Stun Bolt. Oh, impromptu, excellent. Big fan. We can give up one of these. And I'll give up a stun bolt. So we'll go eyepiece. To reveal terraforming and technological singularity. Ugh. I'd rather have the terraforming. Not looking forward to that turn. Depending on what the, what the environment plays out. Nope, nope, we gotta hit him. That's a lot of targeting computers all of a sudden. Okay. Use a foam grain to prevent the environment play, so terraforming won't do a whole lot. That was lucky. Disintegration ray? Okay. Can deal with that. I believe Omnitron is now increasing damage. So we could play Punish the Weak, and suddenly that's very relevant. We could go Vitality Surge, just out of general principle. I'd rather punish the weak and use Mare. For effectively three damage, I believe. Yep. And now Hawk is drawing a few couple more cards, which is always nice for him. For instance, the Fuel Hawk is of Battle. We could do another modular realignment. And just put Cryo Chamber into hand. This is one. Does three coal, three fire. So that's a fair bit of damage. Let's do that. And we'll just heal up with the null point. So he does four to Omnitron. He does three to himself, which reacts and does another four. And then he will deal himself cold. So he's be effectively down one for having done that much damage. That's pretty good. Yes, I do. I'll put one of these in there. I'll put one of those in there. And drop a turret mode in there to get another power use. Yes. First, we can do a play. Am I ready to go into turret mode? No. I want to have more stuff on the table. We get some HP. We hit Omnitron for three. 
and then do a recharge. So, Fnatic's at 22. There's no environment to destroy. It's a fair number of cards in hand. We could totally do Divine Focus or Embolden at this point. Particularly because Bunker has some extra powers that are fun to use. So she could Embolden Bunker and he'd be reducing the damage. Let's do that. Reducing without completely ignoring it. If he completely ignores it, he, he, he loses the, uh, the, the card would go away. So Fnatic. I'm gonna have Fnatic draw a card and get some HP. So first play with Wraith, always the impromptu invention. Because you draw a card, you can search for an equipment, put it into play, and then you get a play. It's like you didn't play impromptu, but you got extra stuff out of it. Uh, so let's drop that second eyepiece. It's I kind of like to have the ability to double tap infrared eyepieces when necessary. Now we have a play waiting on a targeting computer for a while. So let's do that. First thing we'll do is the eyepiece. Because it's something we really can't stand, like this, for instance. I mean, we could just hit and hit and hit, and this would probably be okay. But I'd, I'd rather bury the singularity and take some damage, personally. At this point, we can do it again. See, you know, Interpolation Beam is preferable, I think, to Electro Pulse Explosive, because we already have a lot of cards in hand. We can, we can deal with skipping until Omnitron has taken the damage. However, he's going to have another play as well. Because he will be the Rampaging Robot. I'm sorry, the Rampaging Robot. Villainous Weaponry, Enhancing Damage, so it's like he's on both sides at once this round. Terraforming. Then he'll play another card. Oh, okay then. This should be interesting. Just to clarify, Interpolation Beam means every time a player draws a hero card, which is actually bad for uh, Bunker, because he's automatically drawing cards, I think, with ammo drop. Oh, May. Okay. Excellent. Love an option. Let's drop Vitality Surge. Oh, look at that. Okay, good to know. Foolish. And that means we will be skipping Mere. Use Taiha. Punish the weak. Zero, uh, enhancing his damage. Thank you. No. So that was actually a plus one overall for Vitality. Because of Vitality Surge's HP gain. So that's okay. Modular, modular realignment does not draw cards. And then it would allow us to get a little damage out. We'll put it in hand. One becomes two, which becomes one against Omnitron. Then he goes up one. And then we can do one. Becomes net of one. No. Well, what kind of damage is Omnitron this thing doing? Energy. Nope. That would, sometimes it's fun with Absolute Zero to let him be hit by things. And let's just see where we are with uh, five. We're at five. So we need to do an instance of three and we'll be all set. Um, yeah, let's do a little more charging. I'm going to hang on to that just in case he spams out a bunch of robots. And we'll skip. Just do two this turn. Up to 17 in Omni Cannon. This two times number, so 17 times two. That's really appealing. Uh, it might be time to start enhancing damage. And then we'll flack cannon to do the three we need to do. Ooh. Um how much is uh, interpolation beam gonna do? One, yes. Bunker can ignore that. Cool. And now with Embolden, I believe we're gonna get another power use. 
can't draw cards through initial eyes. So we'll do some damage. We don't need to do any more damage. No more damage. And now we're sort of in tank turtle mode. was cool. I don't know if I've ever emboldened Bunker before. So that means I feel like we're entering the end game. It might be time to um go divine focus. And that would start getting through Omnitron's damage reduction, then become two next turn. Yeah. Okay. And then we'll uh, use absolution. I'm super tempted to use Inventory Barrage right now, but that would be giving up the Infrared Eyepiece. Another Infrared But I don't want to give him up right now. Drop some Throwing Knives. Use an Eyepiece. Yeah, I'd rather deal with that. A rampage next turn? No, he will not rampage. The he's just going to play out that one card. I think we sort of have this under control, so I'm just going to hit him some more. He's at 36. 17 times 2 is. Oh, math. 20, 14, 34. So, 34. Each target two fire damage. Destroy one of their ongoings or take two more fire damage. Do we have. I don't think. No, we do not have Mega Computer on play. Alright, so it's two and two. Uh, destroy an ongoing. First, Omnitron can take his hit. Everybody's taking two no matter what. Isothermic will let us hit Omnitron. I think we're all pretty comfortable. I would be okay with everybody just keeping their stuff and taking more damage. This is not the way I could have done this, but here we are. Could have just skipped. Yeah. See, this is an instance where I'm not thinking, and I, I should recognize that Absolute Zero wants to be hit by fire as much as possible. And now we're under the 34 point threshold, so Omnitron could conceivably be one shotted shortly by Bunker. Uh, in the meantime, though, I'm just going to let Fanatic keep wailing away because she's got cards to burn. Oops. And this is where Omnitron is. A little problematic in that his um a lot of his really nasty damage dealing effects are devices and components that act at the start of his turn so they come into play and we have a round to take care of them before they actually enact anything now i'm just gonna empty haka's hand and try to not accidentally kill Omnitron before Bunker's turn, because I feel Bunker, this should be Bunker's victory. That's been my decision. Okay. We'll tie, huh? Fanatic will do a little more damage. Good old Fanatic. The only thing we could drop right now is a Cryo Chamber, and that would not be helpful. So, Absolute Zero is just going to do a little more damage. Just a little bit. So 
15? Yes. I would love to put some more cards under there. Just any three cards. No, I don't. I want to keep that turret mode. Fanatic. I would love to. Okay, so we're at 13. And I believe we have two power plays. Oh, three power plays. Right, because he's emboldened. So, we can go grenade launcher. And then we'll hit this guy, because why not? We'll stop dealing damage. And then we'll go flat cannon to do four. I'm going to give him Omnitron down to six. Now for our final play, let us discharge the Omni Cannon. Choose for me, please. So that is, I mean, this is a sort of ideal bunker play where he's spent a lot of the game drawing cards and then feeding them into his, uh, his Omni Cannon for the final coup de grace move for a whopping 41 points of damage. It's not an all-time high. I'm sure many... There are many stories around about how players have gotten all of Bunker's deck in under the Omni Cannon, and he's just waiting for that magic moment, aside from maybe a turret mode. But here we are. It's 41 points to Omnitron. And now there's a device in place, so I think. Yes, here's our reminder that we really should get the device out of play before um, that happens. So I might have been showing off a little bit and not doing it in a wise way. <laughs> it's a valuable lesson. I like that the uh, Handle Lever has installed this little reminder of uh, this is sort of a step to let people know what is going on so that they, they're not wondering, like, why haven't I won yet? Or um, how did I win As in cases like Wager Masters you may have seen previously on deck. So let's slide and keep going forward. So, fortunately, we have a couple options. Um, not, I think we're still going to win this round. No, I don't want to do any damage. Because I don't think we're going to need Embolden anymore. I can... Drop Undaunted to do two. And... No, I don't want to do that. This does two, and I get an extra power use. This get, does one, and I get a draw. Oh, yeah, we'll smite the Transgressor. We're going to do two. Now it gets a power use. So we'll go Absolution to get it down to one. And then we'll use the power to get an HP. I think, by the way, Sacrosanct Martyr. Oh, no, it's the amount of radiant damage dealt to Fnatic. Okay, I think that ties into certain take damage effects. Any... So, here we are. I think... Ooh, it turns out the Wraith gets the coup de grace after all, because uh, to take out Omnitron, you have to take out all his devices. So let's blow up all the inventory to do it. Two coup de grace in one game. I like that. Yes. <laughs> Glad to have a card. All right. That is the defeat of Advanced Omnitron on Wagner Mars Base. As you can see, we earned an mint copy of the issue Mars Attacks. And those of you who couldn't get it off screen, I also uh, unlocked the 75% mark on the hero achievement of defeating all the advanced core villains. So I have no idea who the fourth villain is yet. I know it's not uh, Omnitron here or Baron Blade. I'll have to do a little research and see who, who, who it might be because they don't really let you know. You just have to keep track or figure it out. Anyways, that's been another weekly one-shot of Sentinels here on deck. Thank you so much for tuning in for what has been one of our longest Sentinels episodes ever. Uh, you should totally hit the like button on the video below. Be sure to subscribe to the Decked channel on YouTube so that we can you can find out when new videos drop. And uh, in the meantime... Enjoy the, any games you're playing out there. Let us know what you think in the comments or games that you might recommend we check out because we're always looking to try something new here on the channel. In the meantime, uh, enjoy, what, enjoy whatever you're playing out there, as I've already exhorted you to do, and uh, we'll see you next time on Decked.